We've come to Windsor now, in Berkshire, to visit the Poe Classic winning loft of Jean M. Gilbert. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Pete. Thanks Good. for coming over. Yeah, it's a pleasure, mate. It's always nice to come and yeah. see a champion. Congratulations on winning the Poe Classic the weekend. Thanks very much. There was no day pigeons, of course, because of that north-west wind. That's what, right. what time did you clock? Clocked at six forty-nine next morning. Yeah. Uh, earlier than I thought, I must admit. Yeah. I thought they'd take a bit longer when there wasn't any day birds, but no. uh, had he done well. Yeah, great performance, mate. How long have you been in the sport? Well, I've kept pigeons since I was at school, which is so oh, probably the best part of fifty years. Well, forty odd years. Yeah. To start with, not with much success. No. <laughs> what sort of racing do you like? Nowadays, I, I love the Channel Racing Classics, and Nationals mainly. Yeah. Uh, but I take part in, in a few sprints, but I can't say nowadays that I specialise in that. No, it's just like long distance. Yeah. I say it's a nice sunny day. It's more sunny here today than what it was at Poe the weekend, you know that? Yes, yeah, so I'm not surprised the time they took the cup. <laughs> but, uh, didn't turn out too bad a race in the end for summers. No, I think there's yeah. um, over 100 pigeons second yeah. day, so yeah, it went too bad. Well. Yeah, yeah so that, that wind was pretty strong. Yeah, but uh, it, you know, I've always liked the long distance racing. Uh, probably only the, over the last 10 years I'm, I've got it right, but. Uh, uh, You've had one or two good performances, didn't you? Over the last few years, yeah, things have. Uh, Worked out quite well. This is your Poe Classic man, and Jeff, can you tell us all about him? Yeah, well, he's always been a good pigeon for me. Um, he was 35th Open as a young bird from the St. Malo National. Uh, he's had many performances. Uh, last year he was 10th Open, Poe National, on the day, timed at 9.27 in the evening. Fantastic performance. And, as I say, followed it up this year with this wonderful success. Yeah, three times Po you say? So, yeah he's been three times Po. The first time he went he was uh, 135th Open Po National. Yeah. Brilliant pigeon mate, yeah. absolutely brilliant. What fam is he? He's actually three quarters Jeff Cooper of Pease Down and a quarter Ian Benstead bloodlines. The old Shepherd's pigeons. Yep. Yeah, brilliant. And so I've done pretty well with Jeff Cooper's blood and he's been a great friend of ours, uh, both in teaching us methods, loft design, etc. Yeah. So I'd like to thank him for that. Yeah. What system is this cock raced on? He's raced on Widowood. He gets about three 30 mile tosses beginning of the year and never trained after that. No. Uh, usually he has three weeks rest going into Po. Yeah, brilliant. You got a name for him? Uh, we call him the, the narrow cock because there's not a great deal of him, no. he's just full of heart. Absolutely brilliant pigeon, yeah. mate. True champion. The narrow cock. First open London South East Classic Po, 1999. Tell us one or two things about your methods now, Jeff. Well, I race only widowed cocks generally. Um, they're paired up the first week in February. Yeah. Usually rear a round of youngsters. Uh, they're then parted, usually before the hen lays again. Uh, and from then on, they are on widowed. Yeah. They get about three 30 mile tosses before the first club race. Uh, after that, they're not trained whatsoever. Uh, just let out twice a day for exercise. Yeah. The, they usually have about three sprints, and from then on, they go classic racing. Yeah. Very rarely do they go channel in the club. So I feel that uh, the more experience of classic racing and splitting they get, the better they are. Yeah, different type of racing from club yeah, racing. different it? type of racing from club racing. Yeah. Tendency is for the club pigeons, in many cases, to come home in a batch. to one area. Yeah, yeah. 
How about feeding? Feeding, we mix our own corn. Uh, it's on the Jeff Cooper methods. Uh, he taught us how to mix up the corn. It's actually uh, one and three quarter parts beans, peas and tares, two and a half parts maize, one part wheat, one part barley and one part conditioner. Yeah, do you break down? Uh, I mean, never break the produce down. Yeah. Um, sometimes during a long rest before a race they may get a fraction less cool, but certainly never ever really hungry. No. Do you show the hens before they go to the race? Hens, yes, they're shown before they go to the race. The cocks are only flown the maximum every other week. Um, sometimes three weeks gap. Yeah. Uh, the hens are always shown before they go, only for about ten minutes, and then basketed and they see the hens when they return. There again, I don't like leaving the hens in too long. Um, as soon as I've got the last pigeon home, the hens are removed. Yeah. But uh, I don't think some of these, you know, whether you show the hen or not, necessarily matters sometimes. Yeah. It's what, they, what you get the pigeon used to. Yeah. Do you ever pair them up for long distance at all? Never pair them up for long distance. No. I did it once, attempted it, a total failure. Yeah. I found they went right out of form. Yeah. Um, I know some people do with success, but I prefer not to. Yes, it's your method, isn't it? what suits your opinions. Yeah. Your son's your partner, is he? Uh, yes, he is, uh, although he races to his own shed now, and uh, we're expecting to wind up here and race from his loft probably over the next year or two. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, that's Mark, my yeah. son Mark. Yeah. Uh, he's got a lovely setup where he is, and uh, Got his pigeons going. He's going to Po National this year for the first first time since yeah. he moved to the place. Is he a long distance enthusiast? Yes, as well? he's, he's as keen as I am on the distance. Yeah, great mate. He's as good as his own mate, what you dad. Well, <laughs> he's a good flyer in his own right, I will say that for him. In fact, he always says he's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> he could be right. Yeah. This is shot inside one of Jess Woodward's sections. I say it's very smart loft. And he informed me he never keep more than about five or six cocks in each section. They certainly look well. This is just very smart 32 foot Petron loft. It was actually designed by Jeff Cooper. It has three sections, two for Woodward cocks and one for young birds and trapping through the Sputnik traps and open doors. A real smart setup. Alright Jeff, I'd like to congratulate you again on your great Poe win mate, it's a fantastic performance. So thanks for letting me come over today to see him. My pleasure, thanks, thanks very much. Jeff Gilbert, first open, London South East Classic Poe, 1999.